what we call the pit maneuver. We interrupt our broadcast for yet another Los Angeles even car chase really that is happening right now. One individual in the carpool lane. Crime is back on the menu, boys, girls, right now, and NBs. There are two, uh, at least two CHP units trailing this, uh, likely a law enforcement helicopter as well. But again, they just want to bring this to a peaceful conclusion. 405 Freeway Northbound, heading up into the South Bay, through the South Bay Curve, towards LAX. Yeah, and if you're just now tuning in, again, this was all started because the car there is missing license plates. And so the officers tried to pull this car over, pull the driver over. The driver just kept going, and that's when this pursuit started. It started down downtown Los Angeles and now you can see that it appears we're on the 405 in Inglewood as Rick just mentioned there are at least two CHP oh this is so bad this is this gonna vehicle. cook traffic bro that well, sucks good points the fact that we're in that California highway, highway patrol usually stops traffic from getting through we saw that all of the rain I think that was my brother's showers, car on the hove lane I'm not even not kidding seeing that so road conditions are a little clear. Making an exit. That's in Goldwood yep, Avenue there. there. Go. That's, uh, that's the off-ramp that I take so frequently there. 405 Freeway Northbound exiting. Uh, actually, that's Hawthorne I'm text Boulevard right now. there. Uh, just one south of the Inglewood off-ramp. So we'll see what happens here. A lot of these pursuits, they're able to run the plates if the vehicle isn't stolen and ascertain some important information. But because, as we're hearing, there's no rear license plate and that's what initiated the chp to light this individual up he's abiding by all the laws look at this yeah, oh, he no, no, he's stopping there almost yep. like he yep. doesn't even know he's being pursued at this point uh, at the light there on the off-ramp at hawthorne boulevard there off the northbound side of the 405 freeway we'll see what happens from here who the fuck stops right, at a red light while they're being chased by cops that's crazy to go by we see one two and then there was a third chp officer who pulled in right behind those two there Blinker on even. He's going to turn yeah. left. Yep. I, I did not see any high speed uh, during uh, the the pursuit oh. that we covered here. We're Let's see what happens. In. They they so. may they may try something, but again, you just don't know. Obviously, He's looking back. the mindset of this driver and any driver that's running from officers here is not a good one. And we don't know if this individual is armed at this point. And they have to assume that they are armed. From our vantage point, it appears that there's nobody else in the vehicle. It looks like his right arm there is, is gesturing talking? in some manner. Looks the like he's are, talking to yep, the officer. And, and it does look like those officers are trying to give uh, uh, him a command right now. And he's uh, turning left or going, uh, going straight through here. Uh, let's see what happens, uh -huh. and, and they're just letting him go on his way. That's the 405 freeway overpass. He said, I'm going left. There at Hawthorne Boulevard, and we'll see uh, what direction he chooses to take at this point. There he is right there. Again, failure to yield in that yellow shirt. We believe just one occupant, a male driver, failing to pull over on the 10 freeway at 3.45 p.m. in the downtown area. The pursuit was on, and it made its way south rather quickly. The oldest trick the in the book. Area. I'm going left, Taking officers. The freeway northbound up through the South Bay Curve. That's the curve of the bend of the North 405 that we call. I wonder if he'll do it again. Bay area. And it does look like that window, you can see that front uh, passenger window is rolled down as well. Yeah, so it looks like they're now stopped at another red light or a red light. The other one was just he was waiting for traffic to go by. Uh, this is one of those officers that seemed to be talking to him, and you could see that that passenger side window is down where they may have been communicating with one oh, another. Oh, shit. And now it looks like that pit maneuver may it's be tried. Possible, it's possible, because the speeds are down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Low. Here we go. We'll see what happens here. It looks like that uh, SUV, CHP SUV unit, and again, the California Highway Patrol, the lead agency, because this pursuit was initiated on Interstate 10 here. They're just trying to keep up with him, bring this to a safe conclusion, watch out for any pedestrians, uh, bicyclists, any people in their vehicles that could be in harm's way. This is on southbound Hawthorne Boulevard through Lawndale from the 405 freeway here. And we will enter a very busy area here. There's a lot of uh, businesses here. We're coming up uh, on the Galleria Mall here in North Redondo Beach. So we'll see what happens. But the bottom line is, is this individual being pursued, at least from what we've seen, Marla and Coco, abiding by all the traffic laws. Didn't speed from what we saw, stopped at all the red lights, did not pick up speeds, or is not really driving that erratically, but just fails to pull over. Right, exactly. And that's really, again, how this pursuit all started is because the driver failed to pull over. But here, another traffic light, 
appears to be abiding by the rules. It seems like a couple of uh, CHP cruisers are still pursuing this driver. Let him really go, dude. Let him go. Let him go. We in earlier, and you could see the driver. He's just trying to go home, man. He's just abiding by the laws. Collected as almost as if What's he didn't know. It's a mulligan. Yeah. It's a mulligan. Yeah. It's a mulligan. You got to let him yeah, go. Again, he didn't even do up, nothing. Uh, because uh, they are saying that there is no rear license plate on this vehicle, and that is what initiated the California Highway Patrol to initially conduct that traffic stop on the 10 freeway in downtown LA. We are now in the South Bay area, heading southbound on Hawthorne Boulevard. Can they try that pit maneuver, that pursuit intervention Dude, technique? Wait. Sure, at speed. Okay, here's what's insane. Like, why are we talking about pit maneuvers when this motherfucker literally didn't do anything? Like, it's not like he robbed the bank. He didn't do, like, assault with a deadly weapon. He's following the fucking rules of the road. He's like, nope, I'm still going here. straight, officer. Now, Please right, stop. Trying to play a little cat and mouse here. But what they will try to do, if there is that opportunity, you have that boulevard, that island there on Hawthorne Boulevard. Why does so it feel like they're going so slow? Traffic, because he's following the traffic rules. Like, like, I'm not even kidding. That's the reason. Northbound traffic. <laughs> if there is a way that they can nudge the back end of that vehicle, spin that vehicle out, disable it, they will try to do so. Other agencies have been called out on this. Now that we are... This is a crazy... Crazy meta. Would be the LA County Sheriff's this is a new meta, the guys. Torrance, the Torrance Police Department. This is a new meta oh, where you. This is a new meta, guys. Where, where, where you follow the rules or the traffic and, uh, to see, we'll see what happens here how how you can get uh, to, how little rules you can break while evading uh, the police. Really driving erratically. A lot more traffic now. As I said, you got a big mall here coming up. On Hawthorne Boulevard, the Galleria Mall, lots of car dealerships. I mean, you can see his fucking face and everything. Here. Ooh, reaching Grabbing up for something, for something there. And again, they have to assume that this individual is armed. Oh, he's drinking. He's acting very erratically at this oh, point. Oh, he's... And this is going to pose a major danger. It already has to all those motors. A lot of people he are He took the seatbelt off. He's going to run. People aren't enjoying themselves. Maybe they have family and friends in town going out to dinner on this Wednesday evening. So he, he got road sodas, man. To try to bring this to a safe conclusion on Hawthorne Boulevard, heading southbound from the 405 into the heart of the South Bay. All right, so we remain on Hawthorne Boulevard, and at least now four CHP officers in hot pursuit of this driver who just would not pull over. That was ladies and gentlemen. On the this is the consequence of going on a Drake and drive here at the Hassanabi Action News. Inglewood, uh, Hawthorne, pardon me. Hawthorne Here's a man who's and Drake and driving. Now in the Torrance area. Gone wrong. And it, this cat and mouse and just mm. that communication that we saw earlier, that was interesting as well. And it almost Dude, open like up, open up. You got I know that public safety is first and foremost. And as this, see, look at this guy. Possibility. Yep. You can yep. see there's a wide open road. That's still yep. Hawthorne Boulevard, just past 190th Street here into the South Bay. Uh, a lot of businesses, I, as I said here, lots of furniture stores, car dealerships. We have the Galleria Mall, a very busy Galleria Mall here. And we'll see what happens. But clearly now, this driver is agitated. We have seen him run a couple of red lights now. And he is clearly trying to evade officers. Here. The yeah, no line, shit. You're just tuning in. Started. This is at 3:45 p.m. on the 10 freeway in the downtown area. The CHP lit this individual up because there was no allegedly no rear license plate on. He failed to yield, and the pursuit was on. And we got it covered for you always here on Fox 11. And yeah, Rick, as you mentioned, this driver is really starting to drive more erratically, but you can see the officer doing everything that they can to make sure that they do not lose sight of this vehicle, especially as they get to a busier traffic area. We're starting to see more cars, and as you said, this driver is now running a few red lights. We could possibly see the driver decide to take a run for it at any point because the driver did take their seatbelt off here. The fucking the news anchors are like, a cop should kill them. <laughs> They're driving through red. He's driving through red lights now. It's time to do a murder, please. Yield from the driver. The officers believe that there was an issue or that they did not have a back driver's plate 
on the vehicle here. We're zooming in close. He did, again, I just want to point out you can the reason why this started is because he just didn't have a rear license plate. But has been driving really erratically, right, Brick? In, in, in Torrance, the heart of Torrance, that's right. Uh, definitely we saw more agitation with this driver of the last uh, several minutes uh, once uh, this pursuit did enter Hawthorne Boulevard in Torrance now. So the Torrance Police Department has been made aware of this pursuit. Uh, they will uh, help out with the California Highway Patrol, but the CHP, the lead agency, because this pursuit started on Interstate 10, on the 10 freeway in downtown Los Angeles. You can see the speeds are picking up our extreme nav system on it, over 40 miles an hour. I don't see a good opportunity, at least at this point, because of the traffic here, unless they're trying to stop the traffic up ahead, veering to the left there, mm -hmm. getting away from traffic to throw out a spike strip. That's a that's a challenging what? thing to do on a day like this where you see all those other vehicles. Oh it, shit! It endangers the officers and other individuals. Clearly now, trying to do whatever they can as they were on the freeways as well. Don't oh, he's cooking wrong, now. Now at definitely high rates of speed, running through stop signs, driving erratically, recklessly in and out uh, of backed up traffic. There. Yeah, needled his way uh, through that red light there uh, just fine no problems uh, made it look easy in fact and I am really struck by the driver's demeanor it looks to be a young male mm -hmm. uh, one arm up sort of cruising along doesn't appear to be nervous or anxious that is true driving agitated he's kind of well, he's kind of badass through and around when things got a little dicey for him doesn't appear to have significant there's no damage to the body of this vehicle but we have pointed out that that rear back window appears to be broken out we don't know how that happened that may have happened prior to the pursuit beginning as coco just pointed out this is all because of the lack of uh, license plates on this particular vehicle make and model still we're working to figure that one out uh, but chb here uh, tailing this this driver in the uh, heart of Torrance, as Rick pointed out, Hawthorne Boulevard, and it's been going on for almost an hour now, Rick. And yeah, that's right. And now by Del Amo Mall, another very busy mall there on Hawthorne Boulevard, and they've been staying. Uh, this individual, I should say, has been staying uh, clear of any other street except Hawthorne Boulevard, weaving their way on the right there. Oh shit! Light, oh light shit! Light, making a left turn against traffic. There, so I have to pee dangerous. so fucking bad, dude, and, uh, and, and I'm worried that shit's gonna get spotted. I see, and I'm holding so, it in. I'm going to run real quick to do a pee. I'll be back. Be, uh, lit up for as well. But the bottom line is this is getting more and more dangerous. Staying southbound on Hawthorne Boulevard, which essentially would take this pursuit up towards the Palos Verdes Peninsula. We're still in Torrance at this time, just passing Del Amo Mall here, heading down towards Pacific Coast Highway. If they have any opportunity to pit this individual, the pursuit intervention technique, to spin this vehicle out to bring it to an end, they they will do it. I know the Torrance Police Department will be involved in this as well. They want this guy off the streets. They don't want those pedestrians that we just saw to be endangered. We don't want anybody, uh, any innocent people driving uh, on this holiday Wednesday evening as the sun starts to set here in Southern California being endangered, endangered. And we don't want officers either to be harmed in any way. CHP still lead there. You can see it there, Marla and Coco. Southbound on Hawthorne Boulevard, uh, heading down towards South Torrance. Then into the Palos Verdes Peninsula towards Lamita, Harbor City. We'll see what happens from here. Yeah, Rick, as you mentioned, with those two pedestrians, it was almost a very close call there. So really the urgency is, is growing to really stop this driver. You can see that the CHP crews right appear to yep, pick up some speed there to try to make sure that it's they funny when he's like escaping cops, but there are people next to him that are going faster than he is in any way possible because you're getting into busier areas with more cars. We'll probably see more pedestrians as well. And it's going to be very important to stop this driver, especially as we consider the time of day. We're nearing sunset. Right. We know it gets dark very early. It's a good thing it's not raining. That makes it even uh, dicier. But yes, that sun will set relatively soon. And think what? Uh oh. Uh, all right, we lost. We lost audio with the bird. Hello, this is Action 5 News. The driver is in hot pursuit. What? Unfortunately, we will no longer be hearing from the news reporters at Studio 7. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are watching this uh, hot pursuit. If you have to pull over, you must yield 
Uh, and the longer this goes and the more uh, dangerous it gets, if it does get any more dangerous, they're going to have to resort to more uh, intense tactics. You can see some bystanders here now aware of this pursuit, streaming it on ABC7 and now posting on social media. You saw them photographing and taking videos at that intersection there through another red light. I think that's the third red light by my count. And if he continues blowing through these residential red lights, uh, that's obviously, uh, you know, unsafe, but you know, there's not a whole lot of cars or pedestrians out in general, but it's certainly going to increase the pressure on law enforcement. Uh -huh. to <laughs> close exactly in what you're talking here. about. We're right giving there. them a little, yeah, more, more spectators. All uh, three people at the same good time. For a few likes and a few more followers <laughs> if you're in the right place at the right time, but certainly uh, do so from a distance. And you Bitch, what do you mean? That's what you guys are doing here in the news. Stopping for this red light. That's good. And California Highway, Tro Highway Patrol now uh, behind him. Maybe they'll come around his left flank once again. This time it looks like they're keeping a little bit more of a distance. And Rob, if you could just widen out just one second, I want to see uh, back on the 405, there were about six units. That has now decreased to four units on the ground. You see that SUV, three other chargers, and the helicopter still overhead here as he encounters a red light at Hawthorne Boulevard and PCH. He could go through PCH here. He's just about a mile from the beach, and eventually he will have to make a turn. But right now, he is actually obeying this red light, uh, which will turn green here right now. Bro, he's got one hand on the wheel and the other right, on his it is now, phone. Uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. Oh, my God. He's eye not eye watching the Hassan Ebbett broadcast. Don't do it cover this pursuit that has been on Hawthorne Boulevard for quite some time heading towards Redondo Beach. This suspect oh, no. not particularly dangerous, although he is starting to start uh, to run red lights there. You can see the vehicle he's in, some sort of a Nissan, an older model, uh, pretty beat up. He isn't necessarily going really fast. If he you're watching no the broadcast right now, turn your hazards on. Have brought, uh, attention to if you're CFC watching the broadcast right now, turn your hazards on. So he is wanted for the license plates, for speeding, and a number of other violations he has uh, now uh, committed during this pursuit. But this is an interesting cat and mouse game because he is not necessarily aggressively driving down the street besides running red lights on occasion, not all of them. CHP did pull up on the side, talk to him a little bit, try to get him to pull over, even tried to box him in at one point, but that did not work, so the pursuit continues. It does continue, and Chris Christie is live in Air 7 HD as we're following this pursuit, and Chris, you can see uh, this drive driver again on Hawthorne Boulevard, weaving in and out a little bit of traffic. But, you know, earlier we saw him uh, try to get in and out and, you know, say thank you to the driver who moved to the side to let him pass. So, you know, very polite driver. Yeah, For the polite. most part, you know, minding the rules of the road. We have seen him go through a couple uh, red lights. But again, we're all very aware of many uh, drivers who just blow through and just really create a dangerous situation. But so far, this driver doesn't seem to be trying to create a dangerous situation. That's right. Weaving a little bit out, trying to put a little distance between him and that primary unit when he has a chance. He's uh, just passing Crenshaw Boulevard. We're on the edge, by the way, to give you help you get your bearings. We're uh, kind of on the edge of Torrance, uh, either in Torrance's jurisdiction or uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. I can't tell you exactly, but uh, he is continuing down Hawthorne Boulevard. Boulevard. It might even be the border between the two, uh, between Torrance and uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. But in any event, CHP still the lead agency here. When California Highway Patrol is in pursuit, they are almost always the solo agency involved. It is their party uh, unless they make a call that they need some mutual aid from another agency here. But in this case, they seem to have a handle on it and we'll see what they decide to do or how much steam this guy has left as he continues into the Rolling Hills area. Yeah, Chris, we're, we're watching this. And again, because the CHP is involved and they are not necessarily Bro, he's going so slow. support, it, sometimes it seems like that um, the CHP is like... By the way, is like, he has a donut. Like, that's part of the reason probably why he has to go slow. Isn't that a donut? It looks like a donut. Maybe the hubcap is off. I'm not sure um, if they are setting up uh, some areas where they can set up some spike strips, but they would have to help yeah. ask for some help, right, Chris? 
Well, they would, except if you noticed a moment ago, there was one unit, the, one, of the, one of the rear units, came up from behind him, sped right past him. He's now a good quarter mile to a half oh, mile Oh, shit. Yeah, he's ahead of him. He's going to have to get a little bit further down Hawthorne Boulevard. Oh, another I'm one. Sure. Here comes another down. unit. Another unit trying he's, to he's slow him slow down. Oh, he's going to juke so him. That's going to give that. Yeah, exactly right. You're exactly right. Slowing him down, giving that other charger the opportunity to set up for a spike strip. Juke him. These are, uh, I can't stress That's enough. Unusual. These are unconventional tactics. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I saw a Southern California police officer try to actually slow a unit, slow a pursuit, a pursuit vehicle down by pulling in front like that or even attempting to box in a pursuit suspect. But they obviously have made a determination that this driver is, you know, not enough of a threat that he's going to, you know, pose a bigger risk already, but it looks like they just have not had a chance to set up for that spike strip. He's just going too uh, too too fast at this point. Uh, he slowed him down just a little bit, but that lead agent, that lead unit, uh, I don't think was able to lay anything down there. So he's continuing. He's now got, I think, all of the units back behind him. He's continuing down Hawthorne Boulevard, uh, and so far, no opportunity to set up for that spike strip. Well, it's Coming good. up on Silver Spur Road, by the way. A good, a good idea, nevertheless. And you wonder, those other two units that suddenly disappeared, I was wondering if they're trying to work their way through uh -oh. the neighborhood and get ahead of this. But look, he's trying to communicate with him. At least he's, is he willing to talk? He's rolling down the window. Rolling the window down. He's rolling the window down. That CHP officer trying to communicate again. This is a different unit yeah. that is trying to communicate with them. Oh, he's even now pulling it in reverse. So uh, look at that. I can't figure out what. What I can't understand. What? What, what is? What kind of dog bro, this is, is taking sick. place where you see the CHP? He's really like, bro, chill, chill. Just let me go, dog. Come on. Continuing a conversation. Either he will continue the tactic of trying to look for a stop, a spot to set up for that spike strip. There's another yeah. uh, local police officer that he mm -hmm. just passed there. And now they're creating traffic breaks at intersections ahead. So that leads me to believe that maybe This is cool because like when they start when they start stopping traffic at intersections, like that's when you unlock a new level, you know what I mean? That's when like things get real spicy. That's when they let you fucking run through the intersections and shit. Can, you know, uh -huh join the lanes next to him or or in front of him but yeah that's like they have enough that's like three stars it. it just seems like they're a little bit behind the eight ball for a spike strip and by the way these spike strip attempts when they work they're really skillful and really you have it's not just skill it's also a bit of luck at the same time <laughs> you have to they are one of the more complicated tactics to employ mm -hmm. during a pursuit but when you have a slow speed pursuit you have much better odds but in general, spike strips are hard. They are hard tactic to set up for. They're hard to employ. It requires uh, usually a lot of manpower and a lot of times just a whole lot of luck that you have the right officer that has the spike strip ready at the right time ahead of the pursuit suspect and Ray able to lay it down uh, without uh, any talking. collateral He's damage. So a lot them, of yeah. things have to fall into place for a success. Is that a, what's in the cooler is what I want to know. Strip. He's calling but, them uh, ahead here to him. You have, Yeah, he's calling yeah. that one. He's saying, please come or what have you. Yeah, he's kind of gesturing at the officer, trying to communicate. And and you can see the officer. He's willing to negotiate. He's, you know, not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's using every negotiating uh, tactic that he has been taught. And uh, just getting him to p just pull over. Everything's going to be fine. Just, oh, look at that. Oh, An God. opportunity oh, to box him in. Oh, and now gosh. they've done it. And now they've done it. He's laughing. Like he's going to go anywhere. He's laughing. Look at this. Look at this. This is exactly what we were talking about. He's afraid. He's afraid. He's a little agitated, but he's 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 not going to put up a big fight here. He does not pose a big danger to them. He just doesn't want to go away. Unfortunately, that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to take him in peacefully, try and talk some sense into him. Loki, this is like a mental health crisis. Loki, this is like a pretty decent way to apprehend someone. That this is like surprisingly good police work. I can't believe we just watched an instance where there was like they talked to him, they tried to calm him down. It seemed like they kept trying to de-escalate. Very, very good police work. I can't believe I'm saying that. 
nowhere to go. They didn't think he was a big threat. He's not going to go ramming through the roadblock there, and now they can determine uh, what they the caught him in a logical he fallacy to debate. So and, uh, could box him in. Take him off to he did get he fucking finesse, dude. He but did. He got got. Uh, a great job by those officers yeah. to make that calculation but to I decide that you know what. This is somebody that we can either negotiate with or maybe we could trick him into slowing down and coming to a stop here before this gets... To be fair, over. like... And that's exactly what they... They, they literally that's fucking... Exactly they happened. literally and clapped him for not having a rear right. license plate. You see plate. the sergeant there keep trying to reassure him and pat him like, it's going to be okay. It's, okay. it's going to be okay. He's you agitated, do, though. He is. He's worried. Obviously, he's scared. He's worried. And, you, you know, it, it, hopefully everything will be fine for him when he, you know, goes... You hate to see a good man go like... Like this, uh, I agree. For, uh, watching that with us, and it was a fascinating pursuit, new tactics that we hadn't yet seen before. In the meantime, let's switch gears now. Let's go to the weather because. Oh my God, they're bored. There's like no no death occurred, so let's get to the weather. All right, they're putting him in the fucking back of the cruiser. Anti-woman and pro-cop. I'm amazed they call you leftist. I mean, it could be a number of different things. He could be an undocumented immigrant who's, like, afraid of getting pulled over by cops. But, like, even then, you know, that was... It could be an episode... That was that was definitely a, a very respectful police chase, though. No innocent bystanders arrested. They actually debate lorded him. They de-escalated. Hassan entering his blue lives, blue lives matter arc. Dude, I, I'm. This is what people don't get. I'm honest. I'm fair. If these motherfuckers like did what they normally do in every other case, I would be screaming about it. Okay. But like, what do you suppose? What do you want me to just like be fucking against what they're doing in this situation when they actually apprehended someone, uh, evading the, uh, evading the, the authorities and like going on a police chase. Like they did a really good job. Every other case, terrible narrative. Man, shut up. See, this is the type of motherfucker who wants me to glaze cops, like, at any opportunity I have. Like, yeah, bro, we've seen enough of these, okay? Get the fuck out of here. What is this? Credit to Varro on Hoscord? Dude, stop. That's not real. He was not watching me on his iPad, dude. Stop. Please stop with his narrative. I want you to stop with his narrative. Do you think it would have been better if they never pursued? I don't know. I mean, probably. Yeah. Like, in my opinion, fucking being afraid of police... And like not wanting to be around them should not be reason alone for, you know, criminality. I don't think that's a reasonable inference to make. Oh, you don't want to be around cops? Bitch, you bitch, you've done something bad. Bitch, you're a bad guy. It's like, who wants to be around fucking cops, dog? Like, cops kind of suck. Even if you don't think about it like uh, they're police, even if you think about it as like, these are people with guns, okay? It's a very normal human thing. To want to not be around them. They didn't even put him in the back, by the way. They put him in the front. They're having a conversation with him. This is good police work, dude. This is this is literally what you expect from cops. They're behaving. They think they're in Europe right now, bro. What is this? Try to check Twitter. I heard Twitter is broken.
Like, I'm not going to sit here and still shit on this. I'm not going to sit here and still shit on this when they're, like, doing a good job. If it's another Elon Musk boomer tweet that you're going to send me, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. <sighs> There's a chance they still blast them. What the fuck are you talking about? They move the car a away from the street. They literally are not even putting him in the back of the fucking car. They're, they put him, they seated him in the front of this uh, car. As an audit, the auditor guy, I will be fair and balanced and tell you that this is the correct thing. Bro, they didn't even pull out their weapons. What are you talking about? Like, I've seen cops behave in a more insane way. This is an A plus, this is an A plus move from cops, okay? I think. A plus. I give it an A rating. This is what your expectation should be. Okay. Anyway, as I was stating, though, as I was stating, they didn't even fucking pull their tasers. What are you talking about? I've seen cops. Cops have behaved worse to me under other situations. You know what I mean? I've had cops behave in a more aggressive and scary manner, in a more threatening manner to even myself. So, yes, of course I'm going to say this is a circumstance where, like, it's pretty good. Like, this is, this is protect and serve shit. Pink Puppet Girl, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. Yeah, they talked to him even though he was in the car. They de-escalated. They did a good job. They actually did a good job. Brother, the officer's behavior has nothing to do with their function to hurt us. I mean, okay. I still believe that there is a... Guys, there is still a need for a group of individuals to be able to maintain the presence of law and order. There is still a need for a group of individuals to uphold laws. If someone is in violation of them, someone needs to still do cop shit. Okay? This is a consistent belief I've held forever. And this is a perfect example of this. Okay? If you have an issue with that, I suggest you take a shower. Okay, which is funny because I thought I was going to do hog watch today, cop watch, and I did not, I did not think that we would be doing cop watch where they actually did a good thing. Wrong, your stance was different in 2001. <laughs> Telling leftists to shower, I will forever maintain.